Audrina Patridge from the Hills, and her sister, Casey Loza. Thank you all for being here. Casey, your daughter, Sadie, was only 15 years old when she passed away from fentanyl in February of last year. You haven't publicly spoken about her death. What made you want to come here tonight and share your story? You got this. Sure. I chose to come on the show today because today would have been her 16th birthday. Let's figure out what's going on and try to create change. You are so brave. She's your strength. She's proud of you for coming here, and so are we. She would have wanted you to do this. I mean, she was beautiful. She was so smart. She was so smart. Ever since she was little, people, her teachers would be like, I'm voting for her for president. Like, I've never met a more compassionate, ambitious, intelligent, caring little girl. She was just full of energy, and she was so talented. She sounds amazing. You know, everyone thinks it can't happen to you. But it only takes one pill, one time, and you've lost your little girl. You know what bothers me so much is when people say, oh, that kid was a drug addict. No, they no. take one pill. Yeah. You can take an Adderall mm -hmm. to study for a college yeah. exam. It'll kill you from yep. the fentanyls in there. It's not just a marijuana. hard drugs. Yep. It's a weed gummy. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. We got in a car accident, and she really hurt her hip, her lower back. It was like after a month of doctors, you know, ice and massage and this. And so she was suffering from chronic pain due to that car accident, and that's why she was seeking some relief from that. Yeah. It's Percocet. Her back pain. She thought she got Percocet. I mean, they have phones. They're smart. They mm -hmm. have the internet. They grew up with having anything you want at access. They're like, oh, I have a migraine, and here's yeah. a menu. Like, it's crazy how easy and accessible it is. And these guys know that, and they're instantly gone and they disappear. Absolutely. These transactions are happening so fast. It's hard for law enforcement yeah. even to catch up. And I think this day and age, no one has ever dealt with this. It's, it's an epidemic. And that's why I want to use my platform to bring awareness, because we as parents and adults, like we need to figure out what to do to fix it. Exactly. Yeah. And you can't protect your child from an enemy you don't understand. We always say at the National Center, it's about empowering children to make those safe and smart decisions, mm -hmm. recognize those risky situations, and learn how to avoid them. Thank you. And thank you for starting this show and all of the people that you've caught. Yes. And I'm sorry for your loss as well. God bless you. First year is always the toughest. And you got your best friend here taking care of you, looking out for you. Thank you. Yeah.